Now you're probably already familiar with Rigify, but did you know there's actually a huge list of hidden templates you can access to create your own custom rigs much quicker? Let's take a look at how to do that. Of course, fall on, you need to have the included free Rigify add-on enabled under your preferences there. Just shouting that out for my beginners. But what you're gonna do is go ahead and add an armature bone there. Just tab in edit mode there and delete that bone. Now over here, you have various tabs for your armature. We're gonna come here to the data tab and down here, you'll see that there's a Rigify section. This allows us to do things like adjust our rig name, target rig, run different scripts, set up bone groups, layer names, and more. And what you may have never noticed is this little sample button down here. So if we twirl this down, we end up getting a huge list of components that we can utilize to make our own custom rigs. Let's take a look at some of these helpful ones and how to use them. My dynamic VFX pack is now on sale at Blender Market, and this has completely customizable VFX assets that you can drag and drop right into your viewport, both EV and Cycles compatible. If you're interested, you can also go check out a free sample pack. Also, if you're interested in my Patreon, I have materials, projects, time lapses, video walkthroughs, and discounts available there as well. Now, when you first start seeing some in the list, we'll see, let's grab Lim's arm here. We'll go ahead, add that sample here, and you may notice this looks a lot like the previous sample we had. So if you come here, go to the basic human, you can see here that this is the same arm setup that they had there. Now, if we tab back into edit mode here and look at the list, you'll see that not all these names make sense and not all of these are useful when they're just put here individually. However, we're gonna take a look at some of the most useful ones you can use and how to pair them together. Now, essentially, when you click Generate Rig and Rigify, what it does is it looks for one of these samples from this list, and then it generates the controls and sets on top of it. So if I go ahead here and I click Generate Rig, you'll see that we get these controls on our arm. If I go ahead here, click Generate Rig, you'll see that we get the same exact controls. But did you know that you can actually delete these as long as you delete the segments? So for example, if we take a look at here, let's say we had a one-armed character, we can just go ahead and delete all the segments that make up the sample. So if I go ahead and delete just these three bones and generate the rig, you will see that we will get the rig without that. But if we were to delete, let's say, just some of the bones and click generate rig, we will get an error. So you can actually delete and add segments as long as they're in their entirety to help you make custom rigs. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's dive in and look at what some of these individual samples do. Now, as I said, this is a big list and not all of these are super useful. So I'm gonna go down through and show you some of the ones that are useful. First up being basic copy chain. It's also worth noting that I haven't been able to find documentation, maybe to exist somewhere online explaining what all of these do. So I'm just gonna show you the ones that I found the most useful. Click here, add sample there. If we go ahead and click generate rig there, what this will do is give us a chain of bones that we can also use with our root bone, which can be very helpful when generating certain things on characters. Here we have what is just the basic pivot. And when we do that, that's just going to give us a basic pivot bone that we can use with this interesting control here. Now it's also worth noting that when you add these samples, you can come over here in pose mode, switch over here to the bone tab, come down here to the rigify type, and any of these samples that you can use can be adjusted here. So here we set that it's set to basic pivot. We can go ahead there and change that to various different ones if the wrong one's selected. And then some of these will also give you controls over the bone and more, let you know if you want them to be a deformation bone, a master control, and some will even let you change the shape and size of the controls. Next up is the basic raw copy, and this kind of just gives you a root bone that you can work with. Here you can see we are using the super face rig. Now it is worth noting that when you go ahead and add this one, it will prompt you to update the rig. So if you wanna use the super face, it will ask you to upgrade the face rig. You'll also notice here that it is the tongue, eyes, and jaws also separated if you'd like to call upon those individually as well. Now here we have several different variations of kind of legs here. We have the limb arm, we have the front paw, the legs, the paw, and the rear paw. And you can see that these all basically generate very similar controls, albeit you know for slightly different situations. And these are really great for, of course, adding legs and things to your character. Now this one right here is great. As you can see, it generates what's called a super tentacle. So if we go ahead and grab this here, we can see that we can rotate this around, but it also gives us these right here, which are kind of like little morph controls that will allow you to add additional vertex displacement 
to your objects when posing them. I also like to point out that when you are adding various components meant to fit together in those templates, they will place them in the correct position. So if I go ahead here, add a spline, add a tail, add a head, you'll see that that will put that all together as expected. Now these haven't been parented together. You will still have to manually parent these together. So let's go ahead and do that. Parent these to the offsets there. And then now when I click generate rig, you'll see that it gives us a working rig there that we can use that will kind of connect everything and allow us to pose dynamically. So you can see here that the samples even know how to work together when they are parented, especially when parented with the ones that they are intended for. Now, if you're curious how to piece these together more, I actually have a free character course on my channel with this cardboard bot character. And I actually use, as you can see here, a lot of these presets that are part of the Rigify sample add-on, also combining them with some of my own objects. I walk through the full rigging process there if you'd like to see how to piece these together in a full sample.